not going to say that I'm totally informed, but my gut instinct is absolutely legalize it. Yeah, because I think if you look at places like Amsterdam, you know, that part of it is about creating this aura. I mean, who are the people who have the most rabid fantasies and actual perversities, generally speaking, we've got the Republicans, no? I mean, I find that the hypocrisy just so delicious, not being one. So, <laughs> you know, but there, what is that about? It's like deny, 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 and then it's gonna emerge because if you're not willing to face your id and you're not willing to kind of embrace it and embrace a kind of earthy sexuality, whatever, manifestation might take on and that that's okay and that can work with a kind of mature love, but it just seems like we're really immature as far as that goes. Similarly with prostitution, I mean, look at what happens when you push it underground. Human trafficking, I mean, how much human trafficking is going? It's like unbelievable the way people can split, I think, in this country, and I know others as well, but this is the place I know best, so absolutely I would advocate for legalization of prostitution. It feels like a very fertile time to educate Americans about love and sex addiction and also romance relationship. Men, as I understand it, tend to be more able to be sex addicts straight up, whereas women, more love addicts, it's not that the sex isn't necessarily braided in, but they've gotta have the emotional component. Alanis Morissette, speaking of celebrities, was another one who publicly proclaimed that she was a love addict and in fact, wrote her latest album, Flavors of Entanglement, was all fueled by that experience with the Ryan Reynolds dumping, whatever, now he ran off and married Scarlett Johansson. Um, so uh, I think that it's important to talk about, you know, that for men to, some of those men who weren't able to act on their sexual impulses that were kind of secretive, back to that whole sense that's a subterranean impulse that we don't acknowledge and integrate, that people who maybe weren't able to do anything about it can when it's porn online, okay? Similarly, women who need that idea of love or, or an emotional component, they're on the dating site spending like how much time and energy and vitality. So part of when it becomes an addiction is when it interferes with your life and that's for both men and women. But I think these, the internet pulls generally if we're gonna talk about male, female in different ways.